Hey everybody, this is Bill Zimmerman from Internet Marketing Wizard. Today I'm going to record a few videos for you. Um, I'm going to show you how to back up and restore your WordPress site using a free plugin called Back WordPress Up, spelled Back WP Up. Uh, the first video is going to be how to do the backup, and the second video is going to be how to do the restore. So the first thing we're going to do here is go ahead and install the plugin. I'm sure you know how to do this, so I'm just going to run through it. I'm going to click on Add New. And look for the plugin. There it is. Okay, I'm going to install it. And activate it. Okay, now I'm going to configure the backup options. So you're just going to go down here and click on Add New. That's going to be Add a New Job. And first thing you need to do is name it. You can name it whatever you want. Um, the A lot of this you can leave as the default. A lot of the options you can just leave as they are. The database jobs we're going to um, check off. We're going to keep all of these tables checked off. And as we scroll down here, the file backup, we're going to keep all these checked as well. Okay, really the, the only thing you really have to con configure is where you're going to back up the file. So you have a bunch of options here. You can back up to a folder. You can back up to email, to an FTP server to Dropbox, to SugarSync, and to Amazon S3. I would recommend either Amazon S3 or Dropbox if you can. Um, you can also use FTP. Just make sure if you, or try if, if you do use FTP, to back up to a domain that's not on the same hosting plan um, as the site you're backing up for obvious reasons. Uh, if you do back up via FTP, it's pretty easy. You just enter your host name, which is going to be something like domain.com, whatever your domain is. Um, your username and password is going to be, normally it's just your cPanel username and password, uh, unless you set up a separate FTP username and password. And then you just um, put in here what folder on the server you want to back it up to. If you just leave the slash, that's going to be the root of your server. Um, or you can create a folder using FTP. Um, maybe you want to create a folder called Backup, and you would type Backup here to send all of your files to this folder. Um, and if you want to use Dropbox, you just fill out your information here, the root and their folder. And Amazon S3, if you're familiar with Amazon S3, you know to put in your key ID, your access key, and your bucket. Now, whatever you choose to do, um, once you set up your backup, I would recommend that you run the backup immediately and check that location to make sure that the backup worked. That way, once you, you've done it and you've run it, you see that it worked, you, you know that it worked, you know all the settings are correct. After you set where you want to back it up, you just need to go up here. Uh, the job type, you can keep that as the default. We're going to keep database backup and file backup checked off. And the job schedule, here's where you're going to activate scheduling, which is what I normally do. You just check this off here and you choose whether you want to back it up monthly, weekly, daily, or hourly. I usually choose weekly, and you choose the day of the week and the time you want to back it up. I'll keep the defaults there. The backup file, you can actually keep the defaults there as well. It's going to back it up as a zip file. This is going to be the file prefix. And the send log, just put in your email address here. Okay, and check this off if you want to be sent an email only if there are errors, which is what I normally do. So once that's all set, you just go up here and click on Save Changes.
Okay, and now I'm going to go to your jobs. And like I said, you're going to want to run this right away to make sure it worked and everything is configured properly. You just go up here and click on run. And once that's done, check your location. If everything is set, you're all good. Um, that's it for this video. Pretty simple. Next video is going to be how to restore your site.